Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You might notice something different. You can see me. Um, I got a ring light for Christmas, so shout out to my parents for picking that up for me. Let me know what you guys think. If it's um, too bright, I can. it's dimmable, I'm just not sure. Um, I've never used lighting equipment before. Um, I usually use natural lighting and that lamp and it's just not good. So now you guys can actually see me and see my desk and see my room, so I'm just super excited. So today I'm going to go through my top picks and my bottom picks, bottom picks, like best and worst of BH Cosmetics. I placed a giant order with them um, a couple of weeks ago and I've been testing things out pretty extensively so I can give you guys some recommendations. So before we start, um, I just want to mention I've gotten a couple of comments about my friend James. Um, if you guys have seen any, um, I did a foundation review, he showed up in it. I did like a, I don't know if I did a vlog and he showed up in it. There's, he showed up in a couple of my videos. Um, I'll link it either in the eye if I can figure out how to do that or down below in the description box um, if you need a refresher on who he is. Um, so that is my friend James and he is a writer. So he's a published writer. He has books published. He has poetry published. Um, in my opinion, he's an excellent writer. So if you guys want to check out his website, check out um, the things that he has been working on. Um, I will link that down below so you guys can go see that. And if you live where we do um, near the upstate New York area, he does a lot of readings and goes around um, and reads his new stuff, reads some old stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can check him out. So link will be in the description box for James. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started on my BH Cosmetics stuff. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this because it was sitting right in front of me. This is the Blush Neutrals 28 Color Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. Oh my god, you can see everything so clearly. This light's fantastic. So you have three rows of eyeshadows right here and then you have the blushes down here. This is not my favorite. Um, there are a couple of shades in here that I use and I got a really, really nice look from. Um, these two right here, um, this one, and this one right here. Other than that, I'm, I don't like anything else. Um, I don't like these cooler tone shades. I find them to be kind of chalky and not very blendable. This one um, seems pretty pigmented, but it's very chalky when I blend it out on my eye. I don't like it. I do, however, like these shades down here. Um, I use these as eyeshadows and as blushes. I've used these two as blushes, these two as um, eyeshadows. So I really do like these. This shade kind of confuses me. So it's not it's not a highlighter shade because it's not shiny. It's got some glitter particles in it, but it's not like reflective like like a highlighter. It I can't use it as like an eyeshadow base because it's a little bit too dark, but I can't use it as as a transition because it's a little bit too light. So I'm not sure what this was designed to be because it's definitely not a blush shade like the rest of them are. So if you guys happen to know, if you have this palette and know what this one is for, let me know. Um, do I recommend this only if it's on sale? Because I would say about 25% of the eyeshadows are good and usable. Um, I remember I got this on sale. Everything was like 60% off. So that I think is worth it just for the price. Um, but there are definitely better ones out there. Speaking of eyeshadow palettes, um, I actually got this one for free. Uh, because if you if I spent like a certain amount of money, which I did, um, you got this for free. So this is the B by Bubs Beauty Eye Palette. So in here you get 12 shades, and that is what they look like. So I was very disappointed in this as well. Um, these shimmers are not shimmery. Um, I don't like the mattes. I I don't like I don't like this. I don't like it. Um, I use these two purples, this one right here, which is kind, and then this one over here, which is confident. I use these to make a look, and I had to build these up so much that this one ended up starting to flake off on my crease. Um, I just, I don't like this. Am I happy I didn't pay for it? Yes. Um, will I use it again? No. I will be passing this on. Um, I'll see if my roommate wants it or my cousin or somebody, but I mean, some of the shimmers are really nice, but they end up having an overall like chunky, chalky feel. So I don't like this and I don't recommend it. I did hear, however, very good things about the Zodiac palette. It happened to be sold out when I was on the website, but um, I will be shopping with them again. So I will go back and see if that's in stock. I heard really, really nice things about that. So let's move on to face products. This was the thing I was most excited about trying and this is their liquid foundation. Um, this is just says naturally flawless liquid foundation. You do get a full ounce of product in here and this is the lightest shade, which is 
204 natural beige. So it does have a pump on the top. I love this. I love this. So I wore it on its own um, the first time I used it and I don't think that it lasts all day. It definitely started to get like oily and like break down on me about the seven hour mark. Um, so I don't like it on its own. I love this mixed in with other foundations. It gives like the most beautiful glow. It really just like livens up my other foundations that are more matte and heavy. And I, I continue to mix this in with different foundations. Today I have this uh, mixed in with, oh, which one did I do? The uh, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And I just have like a nice glow to my skin, everything smoothed out. So I highly recommend getting this. Um, like I said, I don't love it on its own. Um, I will wear it on its own in an emergency situation, but I definitely love this mixed in with other things. Next up, I have the concealer. This is the Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. I hate the applicator on this. So as you can see, this is what happens. It's not a sponge tip, it's just plastic. So as you're squeezing this under your eye, it's just spreading it around and creating a giant mess under the tube. I like this concealer for the first couple of hours. After about five hours, it starts to like really thicken up like in my, um, in this area right here around my nose. Really, really heavy looking, really oily and um, I know um, the Tayla loves this concealer. I like it. I think it blends out beautifully. The shade is really nice. This is um, the lightest shade, 100.5. Um, I like the packaging. I think that it's good for just a couple of hours of use. I always set it with a powder, of course. Um, I don't hate this for the price. I'm happy I have it. Um, I will continue to try it with different powders and primers and stuff, but I definitely won't reach for this on a day that I have to wear my makeup like for a really, really long time. So to set everything, I picked up the Matte Finish Pressed Powder in the lightest shade, which is 205. So this is the shade. I really like this. It's not the lightest powder I've seen at the drugstore, but I do I do really enjoy this. Um, I use this to set my under eyes. I use it to set my full face. It does not keep me matte. Not a lot of things do. Um, I'm kind of on the hunt to find the holy grail of matte products. Um, I get very oily in my T-zone during the day. Um, I really do like this. I recommend this. Um, it does come with a sponge at the bottom. Um, I think they're useless, <laughs> but, um, I, I, I do really, really like this powder. Um, it smooths everything out. It doesn't get cakey. I can build it up. Um, it doesn't kind of settle into my lines and stuff like that. So, um, I would definitely recommend picking this up. It's in a sturdy plastic compact that kind of snaps shut. I like that one. Um, next I picked up the, the waterproof brow pomade in blonde. So up at the top, it just says Studio Pro. Then you open it up and this is the shade. When I first saw this shade, I was like, great, this is perfect. Because right now I use the ColourPop pomade, which happens to be what I have in my brows right now, in, um, in their like taupe or blonde shade, whatever the lightest one is. This is also the lightest one for BH. This is really, really dark. Um, I dipped into this. Um, you can see that I really, I've kind of gotten in there. Sorry for my nails. My little cousin did my nails and I just forgot to like take it off. Um, this is too dark. I put it on and it's, it's thick. It's waxy. Um, I ended up like really blending it out with a spoolie and I did like it. Um, but definitely like the, when I first went into it, it was way, way, way too dark. So if you are fair like me, I tend to be the fairest or second fairest shade in foundations. Um, I would skip this. Um, I don't hate the formula. I have my ColourPop, ColourPop Brow Pomade, which I do like better, um, but in a pinch, I would use this. Um, just make sure you really get in there and blend it out if you have a skin tone similar to mine. And the last thing I picked up was a liquid lipstick. Um, side note, I have tried the setting spray. I picked it up at Ulta like a couple of months ago. I don't hate it. Um, it's just a general basic setting spray. Um, the one that I really like and have been using is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So I would recommend that one over the BH and you can definitely pick both of them up um, at a drugstore. So the last thing I picked up was the BH Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Endora. I wanted to get something neutrally kind of pink that I could wear with almost any look. I like this. I like this a lot. It definitely has a scent to it. It smells like... It smells like chemicals mixed with a shoe. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, I don't love the smell of it, but it does dissipate as the product dries. And this lasts quite a long time. I ate sushi with this and it looked great. Um, 
it doesn't get like cakey around the corners of my mouth and super dry as it wears, which a lot of lip, li liquid lipsticks do, at least for me. So I would definitely recommend picking these up. This is the only shade that I've tried. Again, this is the shade Endora. Only one I've picked up so far, but I will be picking up more of these in darker shades to kind of test them out. But um, I definitely recommend this. So those are the products that I've tried, um, the ones that I like and the ones I don't like. I will be placing another order with BH to try to get that Zodiac palette. I want to find maybe like a highlighter because um, I already picked up the blush palette, maybe a bronzer. So I want to try a little bit more from them um, because they are so affordable. So let me know if you guys have tried anything from BH and what you like and what you don't like in the comments. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody and a happy new year. Christmas has already passed for me when I'm filming this and um, New Year's is this coming up weekend. So I hope everything has been going well for everybody. Make sure to check out James down in the description box and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.